got to be a bit of a worry. An out and out striker here in Resmus Highland, been doing the business for Manchester United and now this. Yeah, and it's it's a work rate, I think, of Ramos Hoyland. Of course, the goals. The goals are obvious to see, but it's the work that he does in order to put himself in situations to score goals. And to the point that Jan was making, it's not like Manchester United is putting all sorts of passes together and Ramos Hoyland is just there for the tapping. This guy's got to work in order to get himself in position to score goals. And he's got to work in order to make sure that he gets in behind. He's got to hold up the ball. He's got to get inside the box because there aren't many options around him creating chances for him. And so you're going to miss the willingness to make into-out runs, to make runs in behind, to hold up the ball, which are things that perhaps are overlooked but are critical to the success of a team that wants to be counter-attacking. If Manchester United are going to be counter-attacking, that first ball that gets played into Rasmus Hoyland or whoever the striker may be, he has to be able to hold on to it, lay the ball off, and now we're going. But he's got to be an outlet. And if he's not available, then who's the outlet? Who's the guy that's going to give you the hold-up play so that then Marcus Rashford can run in behind, so Garnacho can run in behind? If you don't have that person, if you don't have that player... You don't have the outlet, you don't have the counter, and if you don't have the counter, Manchester United don't create chances. Yeah, when you look at the table as well and the points difference between them and Aston Villa, I think it's five right now. With him out, obviously, does that impact that for you? If you were to ask Ten Hag or any of the staff or the other players or the fans, ask anybody who knows anything about football, who's the one guy right now that United can't do without? And every single person would answer, Hoyland. I mean, they cannot do without them. If I'm, if I'm the Fulham coach and I've found this out today, I am licking my chops because I'm thinking, who do we need to worry about going forward? Rashford, guy who, who's, had, who's had a goal since the Belfast carry-on, but who, through the 90 minutes, doesn't give you anywhere near what Hoyland gives you. Garnacho, as exciting as he is, he's inexperienced, still makes... Poor decisions in the final third. But who are we talking? Who's going to score goals for Manchester United over the next two or three weeks when this guy's out? I have absolutely no clue, and I'll bet you Ten Hag couldn't tell you either. 